All right, so this video is going to be dedicated to mixing magical tradition, right? Um, and this is an open floor conversation, right? Um, I have my own opinion on certain things. Everybody has their own opinion and, you know, on certain things. And I wanted to just open up the conversation, right? Again, I've been, you know, I share university, we're having this traditional talk, right? With with, um, you know, other people, you know, in the ATR, whether they're close or far, to really just see where we at, right? See what your knowledge is. See what your perspective is. What your lineage is. You know, why you do the things you do. Why don't you do the things you do? And just have a conversation versus of uh, everybody fighting online and debating it against each other, right? And basically, you know, you really start cyberbullying, spiritual cyberbullying at that point, right? When we can have so much hate and anger because somebody does a ritual this way or somebody prays that way, right? Or somebody um, um, does something else that way, right? So instead of, you know, fighting, can we just have, you know, a conversation like grown people, right? Like spiritual gods and goddesses and be able to open up the floor, and have constant dialogue. I mean, it's that simple, right? So today's topic would be the mixing of magical traditions. So what I want to do is I'm just going to lay out a few points, right? Because uh, there's two sides, right? You got the side where people say, hey, side A is don't mix any magical tradition. If you do, if you do Orisha, you do Orisha. If you do Lukumi, Isheshe, that's totally different. If you do Palo this way, that way, Brion, right? Um, Mayombe, Bajuma, um, Candomblé, right? Side A says, hey, you don't mix any of the traditions, you don't mix the languages, you don't you don't do the rituals the same. Everybody practices the same way, right? The same tradition has, has been intact, it's never changed, and it's always gonna be the same. That's A. Then you have people that's on B, right? It says, hey, well, you know, actually, well, no, you can mix certain traditions, right? And I'm going to actually make a few bullet points on why I think so, right? And it's just a few. And not just I, of course, a lot of other people feel this way, you know? And it could be, it's, it's I would say it's still even enough room to be C, Right to say that it's people kind of in the middle, like, well, hey, because I would say I'm a C person, right? Because I don't believe things are gonna gonna always stay the same. Like in science, right? If you create something and it's working, right? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yes, I agree with that, right? One hundred percent. But if it's something a way to upgrade that same process, then I believe you should be able to upgrade that same process, alter that same science. Right, and then and, and so therefore it's it's kind of like one or the other, or again a C, right? So I would say I'm like a C person. Like, well, I'm not going to, you know, just intentionally just, you know, um, go to Shango and just completely give him something that he doesn't like because I feel like it. I'm not going to do that, right? But if but if I know that Shango you know, is in this energy when it comes to Yoruba or in this energy when it comes to Candomblé, then I have the ability to work with them in those different capacities. And neither one of them are, you know, um, wrong. They just are, right? For whatever reason it may be. So I'm going to go ahead and close out these points. And, and I will just leave it up to you guys to go in the comments. We could be in the chat and just um, give you a, a point. You know what I'm saying? Again, instead of fighting, let's have an intellectual conversation, right? So one, right? A lot of people say don't mix magical traditions. However, you realize that um, when it comes to, let's say, in slavery time, those traditions were mixed. Right? I mean, and you see it clear as day. You see that when they were took them from Africa, they came and, you know, replaced, you know, um, a lot of things when it comes to their religion. They had to hide it, right? They had to hide the religion because they didn't want it to preserve the religion, 
right? So in, in that sense in itself, <clears throat> it was mixing because people are preserving, you know, the Risha to whether they through saints, right? Through the Catholic Church, through whatever, you know, figurine, right? But these systems were merged, right? It was different, um, you know, system of voodoo. I mean, we have a lot of accounts of systems being mixed due to the, the different tribes coming together for whether it's reasons of protection, you know, or the forward move advancement of the culture, right? That's one. Two, I, I will say that, you know, no system is 100% intact from its original origin, right? You know, it's every single ritual <clears throat> is just not done the same way today as it was done 100 years ago. You know, and even though a lot of, you know, these places that have had, um, you know, shrines for 100 years, you know, longer or less, <clears throat> some things do change, you know. And again, that doesn't mean they all have to change, but it's balance. See, I'm a Libra, so I believe in balance. You, just, you see what I'm saying? I'm going to always take the position of balance unless it's just completely wrong or right. But, and this is like, it's just too much overwhelming evidence of why, the systems do naturally collide and go together, right? And it's just about not just wiring to a point where things don't explode, okay? Because cause spirits have taboos, right? I mean, you don't want to mess with those taboos, right? You, don't, you that, that is disrespectful, right? But at the same time, if a spirit say, hey, I'm tired of eating this, I want that from you, then that spirit has that right to do that. And you better do that. You better give them what they want. You see what I'm saying? Um, I would say um, three, you know, speaking about the deities. People are debating about, you know, the deities, you know, which deity comes from one or another. Because the ancestors of the tribes were merged so much to the point you can't, don't even know <clears throat> what tribe or deity it came from. And I just had a big realization with that, with Oshosi from the... Oshosi being here in the West, native to the to the West, and it now being in Yoruba. I mean, it's it's just so many of those stories, so many of those debates, right? Um, that's three and four. Um, if you look at a lot of different of the spell world, right, you'll see a lot of things that's done in America or technology or things. That are from America also being used in Africa and vice versa, obviously. Right? So, it's, for example, like the padlock ritual. I see the padlock ritual in all the systems. Right? So, why? So, who can claim ownership of it? I mean, you, you see what I mean? I see it in Voodoo, I see it in Apollo. I, just, I mean, I had it. You know, I, I just had a class with it, learned that all the padlocks, it was amazing, right? And I see it in Africa, right? So it is an account for spare work to be, you know, cross used, right? And the last and final, um, well, two last final points is that also, if you're dealing with different systems, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of those systems can gel and coagulate inside you. Right, so if you initiate into two, three senses, then naturally, you know those those energies are merging inside of you. You understand what I'm saying? Like you are that. So things are going to naturally have a flow. It's just like if you a singer, a dancer, and a rapper, they call you a triple threat. Well, if you initiate into Apollo, Voodoo, or Orisha, you would be a triple threat. You follow what I'm saying? And um. Last thing I will say, spirits can receive a message in any language, right? Spirits are, you know, quantum beings where they could, you know, translate the communication whether what, no matter what language it is. And they have systems in different cultures of communication to re respond back in those languages, right? So even, even though English is a horrible language, right, we still can receive and get our messages picked up. Yes, it's going to be more potent, and if you're using your file or any other traditional indigenous, you know, um, language, right? But it's also, um, I just want to let it be known that it's also very possible that all, all the spirits, they can multi-dimensional communicate. And uh, those are my things. Let me know what you think. This is just an open conversation. 
Oh, I found a little oracle coming to you live. 